So we're going to start here. A lot of tutorials will take a while getting you set up with a whole bunch of tools, trying to get basic applications written to learn how to write basic programming, hello world applications. Uh, we're going to try and minimize that and get you started and up and running in just a few minutes. So this is the website for Microsoft's .NET Framework 4. This is the tool you need to be able to program. I will add a link in the description. And if you probably have it by default, but if you don't have it, this is where you get it. So this is a really simple application. I've already built it here. It basically says hello. We press enter, whatever, to get it to go away. We're going to go ahead and start from scratch here and delete all of that. So all you need to do is add a new text file. Notice how my .text extension has been deleted. We're going to call this hello.cs. And yes, we want to rename it. We're changing the file extension so that it is acknowledged as a C-sharp file. The first thing you have to write for our application is the word public. That's because the main method is, is run by the program itself, so we need to make sure that it's accessible. We're making a class here. Class is a grouping of logic. that contains everything in your code. We're going to name our class program. We're going to use curly braces to contain the objects inside of the class. We need to write a method. It's public, it's static, and it's void. Public, of course, means accessible outside of the class. Static means that it doesn't change. And void means that it doesn't return any values. The method's name is main. Now it's important that it's capitalized because a lowercase main is not figured out by the compiler. This part is optional. We can allow our program to accept inputs in the future, so we're going to have a the standard input for a main method is a array of strings. Again, we're going to fill in our details inside in curly braces. Our application runs on system dot console dot right line. We're going to say hello programming. And every statement with a semicolon, this is important in almost every major programming language, every C style programming language at least. So what this is doing is it's using the system namespace, the console class, and the right line method. Just like our programming class has a main method we're using the right line method from the console class. And in that we're going to contain our string inside of double quotes. That string being hello programming. And that's the text that's going to get output. That's all the code you need, believe it or not. It's all that simple. So we're going to save our changes. We can exit hello cs and that's all we care about. So next we need to run our command prompt. What I did there in Windows 8 you have to go to the start menu to search, you type cmd, and you click your command prompt. Now we're at my user directory, but we want to go to the desktop because that's where our file is. So now we're on the desktop, and when we do dir, we can see that my file is right there, cd space desktop. Now the reason we're doing it this way is because Without an IDE, we need to use the C-sharp compiler that's provided by the .NET framework. So this is the lowest level you can get when it comes to programming the C-sharp pro uh, applications is using the command line compiler that Microsoft provides for free. So in order to get to the command line compiler, we need to find it in our folders. It's in our C drive under Windows. Now here we go to Microsoft.NET and we'll see that there's frameworks here. I'm not going to use the 64-bit framework, not that it matters, but we're going to use 32-bit in case your computer is only 32-bit. And obviously we want version 4 because that's what we just downloaded was the version 4 of the framework. This is the folder that has our compiler in it. If you scroll down you'll see that our compiler is named csc.exe. There's a nice little trick in Windows. If you hold shift and right click you'll see that there's an option here to copy as a path. So that will copy this folder name 
and the file name all is one big path. So if we right click on our command prompt to click paste, it puts it all in nice double quotes for us, the entire directory all the way to there. This way we're still at our desktop working <coughs> in our desktop directory as far as the command prompt is concerned, but we're using an application deeply nested inside of this folder structure. So then all we have to do is provide it with hello.cs is our file name. And it does the rest for us. It compiles it, and it'll throw any errors if we had them. So now we can see that that's going to run, but we're not going to be able to see anything. So let's edit our file, and let's add another line. We're going to the system namespace, the console class, and read method. This will read any text or any input whatsoever. So by using that input, we can go ahead and delete our original Hello World file, replace it with a new one. I just pressed the up arrow to reproduce what we just wrote. It created this file here, and now it's going to leave it open for us. And that's Hello World in just a few minutes with the most basic command line compiler input you can use. You can do further research on csc.exe to learn how the C Sharp compiler works and you'll be better for it. You'll have learned things that your IDE does for you that you maybe didn't know so much about.